Rio de Janeiro, Brazil never stop surprising. These are the lessons other travelers have learned. Rio is the best place in the world. I can go out every day if I like to. There's no gringos. Everybody wants something for nothing. We'll get to meet like uh, 100 people in one night. A lot different to England. <laughs> it's almost like playing a video game. I saw we will be dodging bullets on the beach. <laughs> Here are the secrets you'll want to know before coming. Rio, how safe is it really? What's so special with Brazilians and what do the girls think about guys constantly hitting on them? Soon we'll know. For you who have seen my videos, you already know I love the Caipirinha, I love the Brazilian people and that Brazil has some killer beaches. But let's try to dig a little deeper. Let's ask the other gringos around here what kind of lessons and secrets they have to share about Rio and Brazil. Get ready for a lot of love, but also some hard truths. But before we get started on what makes Brazil so special, I just want to remind you there's another awesome country out there which is more similar than you might think. The Philippines. Much like in Brazil, the Filipino culture is based on Catholic values, where women take on a more traditional role. They are seen as the cornerstone of the family and are known for their loyalty, care and fondness of Western culture. So, if samba and caipirinha isn't your thing, or if you'd rather speak English instead of brushing up your Portuguese, you gotta check these guys out. Christian Filipina is the most trusted dating service for men with traditional values looking for a long-term partner. Use link in the description and in the pinned comment to set up a free account. And don't forget to let them know who sent you. And did I mention the Philippines is also my second favorite country in the whole world? <laughs> you can thank me later. <laughs> Notes. This is about Rio de Janeiro and its cariocas. People interviewed share their opinion. You don't necessarily have to agree. I come from Greece. I watch a lot of videos of Swedish gringo. He's the best one. So what have you learned uh, during your time here in Rio? Uh, a lot of things. The, first of all, the place is amazing. Huh? People are very social. And believe me, if you go out here, you will get to meet like uh, 100 people in one night. This is what I like the most here. Of course, I already knew that it's like you have to be careful with your things here. But because I'm from Denmark and it's like pretty safe there, it surprised me the most that I had to take care of my things like I have to. What has surprised you the most in Brazil? You read a lot of blogs. Uh, they say that maybe you are going to hell. I don't know, but the place is a paradise. It's a beautiful place. You can feel safe. You just need to take care like in every city around the world. So. This is Rio, just this is Rio, it's beautiful. Second of all, like how welcoming people are. When I first came to my Airbnb and the woman that was renting it, she was just like inviting me to parties after I met her like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you'll make friends in Rio fast, but they may disappear fast too. So would you say Rio is a safe place for a gringo? Uh, I would say it's a safe place for a street smart gringo, yeah. Um, Trust your gut, don't put yourself in unknown situations. Rule of thumb, having a friend will always make you less of a target. And on the beach, keep an eye on your bag if more than one vendor approach you at the same time. And drink in moderation. Good kipe around here. <laughs> I'm here, dude. You're no, yeah. Oh, yeah. This Where man, are your red sunglasses? Man, I'm standing on them. You were so happy you slapped them out of my head. Dude, I've been on the beach exactly 15 minutes and then I saw you. <laughs> I just messaged you on YouTube. How we got up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm here 15 minutes and I meet you. Cariocas care a lot about their bodies and the bodies of others. Gyms are everywhere. Let's do this. Prepare to be objectified, it's generally considered a compliment. Gyms are also great for making friends. So just here working out a little on the beach, running into a guy who's in much better shape than I am. Great guy, dope videos, man. He was, he was one of the main reasons I came to Brazil. So what have you learned about Brazil? Brazil is an amazing country. A lot of people think it's extremely unsafe, but to be honest, no matter where you go in the world, there's always a risk of some going down. So you have to be on your P's and Q's 
Brazil was amazing, man. I've been here. I came here for a week. I've been here three months. So it tells you that, that tells you all you got all you got to know about it. Hello, <laughs> Swedish Gringo. It seems like this little outdoor gym is a meeting spot for my fans. How do you how are you enjoying so Rio? Bad. Brilliant, perfect place. <laughs> the people so friendly. A lot different to England. <laughs> so well welcoming. I've come to the beach um, on my own first day, and can you come sit with us, drink? And, Sitting with five, six Brazilian guys, women, everything. What has surprised you about Brazil? There's no gringos. <laughs> like, yo, I, I walk down this beach, I do it, like, I walk down this beach every day. You know, if you come here between 7 and 10, I'm always here doing my workout, sprinting. And there's no gringos. Like, I could count on my hands the amount of gringos I've seen in the last two, three months. Whereas in, like, Colombia, I would see gringos every single day. I think it's I think it's the safety. People are I think people are worried about it being unsafe, and you know the whole, you know, it's, there's just a lot of bad flack around, you know, in the media about it. But like I said, no matter where you go in the world, there's a potential to be in danger. So you can't let that stop you from going exploring the world. In other words, yes, it will probably feel safer than you thought. How long have you been here in Brazil? About a month. So far, any security issues? Uh, no, I walk around with my Rolex on, but I don't recommend people doing that if you're not, you know, comfortable. So it's my impression you don't feel very unsafe here. No, not really. So I, I was in the U.S. Army, so we deployed to Iraq. And He's been fighting worse people than Cariocas. <laughs> but now, I, you know, every day just fighting with these girls. <laughs> fighting with the girls? You know how it is, like they, uh, everybody wants something for nothing. Yeah, as a man, you will be expected to pay a little more in general. Ricardo. To my experience, women in Rio are strong, independent, social and outgoing. If you want to practice your Portuguese vocabulary, the beach is the perfect place to start. So how is Rio different from other places in Brazil? Um, I think it's Rio is the best place in the world. I lived 10 years in Belo Horizonte, it's another city in Brazil. but. Rio is the best one. It's more, have more pimenta. <laughs> they are spicier. <laughs> <laughs> and they never miss a party. Is it more party than you expected it to be? Yeah, for real. And actually, I'm Brazilian, and where I'm from, we already have lots of party in Minas Gerais, but here in Rio is absurd. It's like 24 hours partying. I can go out every day if I like to. Well, Tuesdays are usually pretty quiet. All right, what is different here in Rio? É muito diferente. Aqui em Brasília eu ando mais com meu celular à vontade. E aqui eu já me recato mais um pouquinho. Don't flash your phone at the beach. That's how I lost mine. Coisas você aprendeu sobre Rio nessas dias? Acho que eu aprendi a conviver mais com outras pessoas diferentes de mim. E é fácil fazer amigos aqui. Eu vim sozinha e fiz muitas amizades. Está sendo muito tranquilo. Até agora não aconteceu nada de errado. É só andar atento e ter todos os cuidados que você tem que ter em qualquer lugar. É muito fácil viver aqui no Rio, feliz. Yes, Carioca sure can teach you how to enjoy life. Well, what do you have there, man? So, I bought this at the airport in Austria. So, it's like a little present from, from me to the Swedish gringo that I met today in Rio. Oh my God. This is like, this is the best kind of present you can ever give to me. This is Snooze. I think you've already seen me use it. And this will be my new favorite snooze. For sure. <laughs> That's right. Always bring a little gift for your favorite gringo when coming to Rio. A forma que eu consigo aqui conhecer pessoas de vários lugares e a comunicação, a comunicação entre as pessoas aqui, eu acho que é muito legal. Concordo totalmente. É um ótimo lugar. It sure is. What surprised me in Rio was that everyone was just super nice to me. But honestly, a lot of those nice people are also hitting on you, right? Yeah, actually the harassment is absurd. And I'm not even that pretty, so if you're too pretty, <laughs> just come with a bodyguard. When you came to this beach, the beach vendor was hitting on you? Yes, Is that exactly. something that happens a lot here? Yeah, like... I think every time that I come to the beach. Like here in Brazil, it's just the law doesn't work that much. 
So you're not protected. Unfortunately, I hear this a lot. Uma surpresa do Rio. Que o pessoal daqui é super comunicativo, super divertido e Mas é basicamente isso. Todo mundo é muito receptivo, é muito amigável aqui. Acho que é isso. <laughs> Here comes one of my personal big shockers, the ocean. <laughs> I'll share with you one tough lesson I've learned here in Rio. The water is freaking cold for a tropical place like this. And the waves here in Copa and Ipanema are sometimes brutal. Summary, you simply don't swim as much as you would like to. Seriously, 5,000 Brazilians drown each year. Don't get in the water if others aren't swimming. Ah, carnival, a time to be a little extra careful. What have you learned about Brazil? I would say that it's much safer than I thought. Coming here, you know, you hear like this being the world's global hub for crime and, and all that kind of stuff, but it's, uh, you just gotta be aware, like maybe put your bag like this rather than this. It's almost like playing a video game, you gotta know your surroundings, and if you do that, you're pretty safe. Rio is so good, even rivals fall in love. This girl is Brazilian? Yeah, from Sao Paulo. And that's a touchy subject because she actually left Sao Paulo during the carnival. Yeah. How come you came to Rio? Yeah, I love Rio. I, I honestly, I'm, I'm from Sao Paulo, but I prefer Rio. I might need to censor this part. Yeah, it's a secret, so please don't tell her. her don't worry, I won't tell a soul. And there is no denying it, Rio After Dark is a fun place to be. What have you learned from your time here in Brazil? The attitude of the people. They have less than European or Western people, but they still are more happy, I would say. Obviously, it's more dangerous than Europe, but if you are a little bit careful, nothing happened to you. What has surprised you about Brazil? The girls? Yeah, the girls are really beautiful here. I was expecting Brazil to be less less safe than it is, actually. Yeah, I thought we would be here dodging bullets on the beach, but yeah, it's secure. Just take care of your belongings and be careful where you go. That's all. The, all of the girls that we met are really beautiful. <laughs> Every people here is beautiful. And the whole country is beautiful. So, how are cariocas different? A forma como a receptividade, a abertura que eles têm é diferente do paulista. O paulista a gente tem, é mais reativo. Carioca, Rio de Janeiro. O carioca não, o carioca é todo mundo é um abraço. Todo mundo é festa, todo mundo é felicidade. And don't get a heart attack on the dance floor. It sometimes get a little hot. Rio is not that dangerous as people normally think. It's a normal city, it's a tourist touristic city. É, mas assim, o pessoal fala que tomar cuidado e tal. Don't think like this. Rio is not too dangerous. O primeiro passo, não achar o Rio perigoso. Rio Nightlife. Any lessons to learn there? Quite a few. Firstly, Rio kind of runs on a rolling schedule. The place to go for the night depends heavily on the day of the week. It's usually not Copacabana. As a man, dress casual. A suit will just make you look weird and you might also catch the attention of guys you don't want to go home with. Dance floor might be a little less dance and more chat than you thought. For a carioca, a good night out means making at least three new friends. Hello guys, my name is Barbara. I have been living in Ireland for five years. So is this a dangerous city? Of course not. It is not. Not at all. Cheers for that. Cheers. Look at this. Look around. It's amazing. It's an amazing city. My greatest lesson about Rio and Brazil. It will make you more open, social and happy. But all other places might start feeling boring. Next up, get ready for a little jungle adventure in the Amazon. For the first time ever, I give you Manaus. If you liked the video, please subscribe and support the channel. 
Thanks for watching and be safe.